This is Louise for MMA Crazy and I'm here with Ovince St. Prue. Ovince, how are you feeling? Obviously you're here in Manchester. Uh, is it your first time to Europe? It's my first time here in Europe. So um, I'm feeling pretty ex excited. A little sleepy but excited. So how has that been? Obviously when, when did you arrive here actually? Uh, <clears throat> early Tuesday morning. So. Well, yeah, early Tuesday morning, so not too bad. Okay, and obviously the time difference, oh, I, would it, is it affecting you? Because obviously here, local time, it's going to be very, very late, early into the hours of the morning. But for you, are you trying to stay on American time? I'm just trying to stay on the time when I need to fight. So, you know, um, pretty much all I've been doing, every time I get a chance to take a nap, I'll take a nap. So that's all the only thing I've been doing. So, um, but uh, the time factor is not a play for this. I think I'll be okay with the time. And what did you think about coming to Europe? Obviously, it's a long way for you. What did you think about coming to, to Manchester? Um, never been here. Definitely excited to be here. You know, that's the opportunity about fighting. You get to travel and stuff and, uh, you know, see different countries. And um, thus far, I'm loving it. Have you managed to see much of Manchester? No, no, not right now. I just, you know, I came here for a job. And um, once the job is over, the leisure time can come. And you're facing Jimmy Manuel, who is from the UK. What did you think of him being your next opponent? Um, you know, he's just another fight. You know, it's one of them things where, you know, eventually when you're within the top ten, you're going to face uh, someone in that caliber. So it's just another fight. I'm just pretty excited going there, get the job done, get my hand raised at the end of the night, and, uh, you know, go home. Were you hoping for maybe more of a top-ranked fighter or, you know, was what was your reaction when this was put forward to you? It was an opportunity. You know, every time I fight, I take every opportunity I can. So, you know, um, that's what I did. And, and what have the preparations been like on the run-up to this fight? Have you trained specifically for Jimmy or have you focused more on yourself? Um, you know, we have specific game plans that we always work on. So that's what we always work on is game plan. And, um, you know, this game plan for Jimmy that we always work on. So, but overall, it's better in myself too. And what do you think of Jimmy as an opponent for you? Do you think this is going to be a, a you know, more of a stand-up fight? Or do you see it maybe playing out another way? I mean, it's going to play out wherever I want it to play out. And at the end of the day, I'm just going to walk in there and I'm going to control the octagon. Not too many people can, can uh, you know, control the octagon like I can. Even with the fights that I lost, it's just like people uh, end up having a hard time controlling the octagon when I'm in there. So I'm going to fight the fight like I want to fight. Do you uh, spot any weaknesses in Jimmy's game that you've been looking at during camp? Everybody got a weakness, so eventually get explored it. Would you say maybe what you think those weaknesses might be? Uh, you would have to see during the fight. <laughs> and obviously how do you think the, the crowd are going to react to you? Because obviously he's from the UK, it's a UK crowd. It don't matter. At the end of the night, you, I'm, I'm a, it usually happens all the time when I fight in somebody's backyard. I get the booze and at the end of the night I walk, I walk away with uh, France from the UK. Do you feel like maybe going into like that, that you have less pressure and that the pressure will be on him and do you think that might give you an advantage in any way? I'm not from the UK, he is, so he, a lot of the pressure is on him. So I don't have to worry about nothing, all I have to do is show up. Do you feel like there's going to be a lot of pressure on him to perform, especially as he hasn't fought someone, you know, as, as high as ranked as you before? The pressure is going to be on him. So, um, you know, a lot of times when you're fighting in your native country, a lot of the pressure ends up being on you. So the pressure is going to be on him. So that's why I'm not too much worried about anything. So how do you see it going down then on Saturday? My hand being raised at the end of the night. Do you have a particular round that you're going to pick? Um, I don't know. I finished fight before in eight seconds, and you know I finished fight before in uh, all three rounds. So as long as I get my hand raised at the end, then all that matters. Thank you very much.